Yes. So Denmark is a tiny, tiny country. There are five million people in Denmark, which is nothing. You know, look at Sao Paulo. Um, so we knew we needed to speak English first and foremost. So we created Zenisk in English from the get-go, and um, that was fortunate because our biggest, fastest-growing market early on was the U.S. Because people are, uh, are fast at adapting new technology there, so that was really our focus to get out of Denmark and reach the world. Um, you know, it's always hard to encounter new cultures. How you do business in Brazil is different from the U.S. is different from Japan. So we needed to learn uh, how to deal with foreign cultures. Um, we've 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 gone, done that by having offices around the world that are close to the cultures we deal with and, and do business with. That is always a hard thing to do. So. Sometimes when you get to a new country, you try to do things like in all sorts of new ways. You try to invent new ways to do things right. I experienced this when we moved to the U.S. I ignored the fact that there's a difference in culture. Um, and then I, I didn't sort of realize what I actually knew already. So my advice is sort of when you go out and everything's changing and new to you, just remember all the basic lessons you already know. Go with what you know, right? Um, I think it's important that when you have offices around the world, that you spend a lot of effort in communication. Communication gets hard. If you don't see people face to face, it's really hard to keep up with how they're feeling, how they're emotionally, are they succeeding. So we spend a fair amount of time traveling and establishing relationships between offices. I feel great. It's been really great here. I mean, lots of interest from people and a good vibe in the, in the auditorium, so that's really great. Mm -hmm.